Hey guys, it's Marcus Adkins with Orlando Microgreens. And in this video today, we are going to show you how to quickly build a Google Sheet to build a target harvest calculator to be able to plan your crops. And we're going to set it up in a way to where it'll automate straight to your Google Calendar. So let's get right to it. All right, guys, so today we're going to go ahead and quickly put together a Google Sheet using the Johnny's Seed Harvest Date Calculator that we used in the last video. If you didn't see that one and you don't have that yet, go ahead and watch the first video in this series so you can get caught up to date. Now for the rest of you, go ahead and open up your browser, start out with a brand new sheet, and we are gonna name this Orlando Microgreens Seed planting calculator. I right, once you have that, you're gonna go ahead and grab this. Just take this whole line right here, copy that, went over here and put it right there in the first row, paste. Now what you're gonna to wanna to do here is go ahead and highlight A, and you go up here to insert, column left. We're gonna add that one. That one's gonna be event slash customer. And then you're gonna come over here to the spring fall factor and you're gonna rename that soak. And you come over to seeding date, you're gonna rename that plant. And the notes one you're gonna rename soak start. And then in the K one, you're gonna rename that notes. Now you can take this and grab it, highlight over to here. Go ahead and grab this down to, I have mine set up at 100 for now. So I just bring that down to about 100. And we're gonna come up here and we're gonna tidy this up. First thing we wanna do is go ahead and add some borders to it. And then we're gonna grab this horizontal. We're gonna horizontal center, a vertical line. We're gonna center that and then make sure the text wrapping is to wrap. So while you got that highlighted, you're gonna grab the format, come down to alternated colors, and grab you a nice color for that. You wanna kind of make a little more space for some of these so you have room. So rename that to seed planting chart and then you're going to want to add another sheet or rename this to variety chart no space you want to grab this from here to the silk start and the notes go ahead and right click copy that come back to your variety sheet paste it right there and then we'll go ahead and grab this, bring it over, drag this down to about 25. And then again, we're gonna go ahead and format that, alternating colors, grab a different color. I'm gonna give that a little bit of space to make it a little, now right here, you're gonna grab the C, you're gonna come up here to the one, two, three, and you're gonna come down and make that duration. Remind yourself, come up here and put in parentheses one, two, colon, zero, zero, colon, zero, zero. That way you're going to remember that that's the way that information has to be put in there because it's a time. So you're going to put the hours in there. That way we're going to get when you start the soak. Okay, so I'll have these notes in the description. What you're going to want to put here on D2, you're going to want to copy this right here. It's down in the notes. Right click, paste, enter. Now you're going to want to take this and copy that again, put it here, but you see right here where it says two, you're going to want to put three. So go ahead and paste. You have to switch that to three. And tab, 
I'm going to paste that, switch that two to a four. Paste that there. Then go ahead and paste it here. Change that two to a six. Now bring it over to your notes. Paste it. And change that to a set. Now after you do that, you're going to come back over to this box here. Grab that blue square. We're going to drag that all the way down to the bottom. I am sure. Drag that all the way to the bottom. That way it's going to go ahead and bring that, that formula all the way down. Okay, guys, be sure to like, subscribe, and ring the bell. And you're going to come back up here. And we're just going to do this again for all those rows. Bring them all the way down. And drag them all the way down to 100. Do the same thing to the notes column. So the same thing here, you're going to pull up down in the description. Grab this formula right here. Copy it. Put it right here in the plant column. Paste. And then grab your notes and you're going to have a soak start column. Copy this. Paste that into the silk start. Now you're going to work on your variety chart. What you're going to do is basically put in your information. You're going to put in your crop variety, the days to maturity. The soak time has to be in the hours of hours for the duration. And if you don't have anything here, make sure you put a zero in the line. Delete column G. Do it again. Edit. So in here, you're going to just put if your crop name, days of maturity, the soak in hours, or zero. Any of these that you don't have to put anything in, you're going to put a zero. I always put the one in here for one day before crop is harvested. Give you a little more room for the notes there. So I have my cheat sheet right here. I'm just going to go ahead and copy it. Now you should be able to go ahead and put a name in. A date, so July 4, 2020, and you have to put a time in there for this to work, right? And then you're going to put the corrupt name in, I'm going to put alpha, and it'll put all, and you might want to adjust a couple of these. So you want to take this column here, the plant column, go ahead and grab that. We're going to bring this formula all the way down. And the same thing with the silk start. Now you can always put in the name of the customer on every line. Yeah. And you want to do this in order because the way this is going to populate later to make it automate a calendar. You put in the name, you're going to put in the date, July 4th, 2020. Don't forget to put in a time because everything works off that. And then you're going to want to put in here. Okay. And then that's going to automate every time you put in this. See, now this is going to show that you're going to plant that on June 27th. But you're going to start soaking it at 6 p.m. on June 25th. Okay, so the formulas will be down in the description. And if you want access to this file, I'm going to tell you how to do that at the end of the third video. So you can just follow along and build it yourself or click go into the next video. And at the end of the third video, I'm going to tell you how you can get access to that file. So thanks for joining us. We'll see you next time.